All right, guys. First fish of the day, day two. A little bitty squirt. The little wacky rig around these stake beds. I don't even know if you, you know what? I'm going to score him. I ain't going to do like I did yesterday. and Not score these fish. So, score this little guy and we'll get back with you. Hey guys, fish number two on a spinner bait. Still in these steak beds. Get him scored. Nothing huge, but the fish. There's another little one. I hope he's not 13 and a half like that other one. I don't want them thinking it's the same fish. They stacked up on these steak beds right now. Three fish and ain't even at a Wildcat Creek where you put in. It's not even. It's just past 7:15, so I hadn't even been fishing an hour. Already three fish, nothing with any size, but three fish, three fish. What I'm doing is. Flipping a wacky rig at these stakes that are in the water, and then I'm throwing a spinner bait and bringing it by it. I've caught fish on both, so let's keep it going. All right, guys, little update here on day two of the championship and open. Um, if you didn't see yesterday. Which you will, I think, because this is all going to be one video. But um, ended up with 69 and a quarter inches yesterday. Um, had two nice fish, uh, 19 inch and a 20 and a quarter. And then um, I lost a lot of fish yesterday. And uh, then the rest of my five fish were all small under 11 inches and under um, so I think I was in like 188th out of 350 some um, and then today put in at the same place we did yesterday and before I even got out of the creek there where we put in I'd caught three fish, um, small fish, like a nine inch and two thirteens, um, and haven't caught a fish since. Still only got the three fish. Um, it's been pretty windy today. It's just recently here died down and the sun's come out a little. Um, I'm extremely sore from four straight days of paddling non-stop and throwing crankbaits non-stop my right shoulder feels like it's about to fall off um, so I'm worn down physically but trying to grind it out got about two hours and 15 minutes left 
before I have to load up, head back in to check in. Um, so, gonna try to grind out two more fish at least. Um, I went to my spots that have been productive this week, the two main spots where I've caught big fish and didn't get anything over there today. Um, tried crankbaits, tried shaky heads, jig, you know, fish fast, fish slow, um, and nothing. So, I crossed the river and I'm gonna fish this bank where I caught a 16 and something pre-fishing. So, I'll fish this bank um, with a crankbait and then I'll head back in the creek towards the boat ramp and see if I can't get some more fish out of there. So, fingers crossed, stay tuned. Fish number four. I'm back here in the uh, same creek channel that I uh, launched in and caught the three fish out of this morning. Um, the only three fish until this one. Um, I, uh, I had one on and lost it when I first came back in here. So, uh, we only got about 15 minutes to fish left, so good deal. Maybe I can get, get number five before we head out of here. grab me here. Hang out on it. No big fish at all this one. Ain't big. But uh just fishing for pride now. I'm not in contention, just trying to get my five fish limit. And I'll be happy with that. Biggest fish of the day here. <laughs> About 14, so if he'll lay still long enough. Almost 15. Oh god. Where's my camera done? Quite 15, I don't think, but there he is. Big fish of the day, guys. Might be my last Kentucky Lake fish, unless I catch one from here at boat ramp. Let's try to get one more. These stakes in this creek channel line something. When you're sitting down the middle of them, you can tell they line. I don't know if it's the creek channel or like an old roadbed or something, but they line something, and it's a productive area. A lot of little fish. Um, biggest fish I caught out of here was like 14 and a half, I think, but. Thank God for this creek today, because it's the only place I caught fish today. Alright guys, well, as I look for this fifth and final fish, I um, just want to say that this was an awesome experience. 
So glad I came. So glad I qualified. And look, there's fish five. <laughs> if you'll stay on. Fish five. Choke that chatterbait. Good gracious. Way down in there. You know it. Look at that. If y'all see, choke that thing. On the side of the gill plate. Let's uh, try to dig that out. Hurt the little guy. But anyways, while I dig that out, if you'll let me, like I was saying, um, so glad to have qualified for this, to come here and fish, fish with the best kayak anglers in the country. Um, hopefully I can qualify again for next year where 100,000 is guaranteed but uh, just grateful for the opportunity uh, I'm going to say huge huge thank you to my dad who pretty much made every bit of this possible um, financially for me really helped me out um, did a lot of work here he came with me so he did a lot of work helping me load and unload lot of work helping me load and unload so huge huge thank you to, to you dad and uh, at least I got five fish That's all I want this creek all five fish come out of this creek today Ooh, that's crazy so uh, unless I catch another fish in the next few minutes which is very possible in this creek last time I was here I signed off about three times in this creek but uh unless I catch another fish thanks for tuning in this is Tar Heel Yak Daddy from the kayak bass fishing national championship and this reminds me of a good tip I'll give you guys real quick after I score this guy before I sign off He got a big He got something weird in him He's like got bloat or something Really weird shape to him See if y'all can see that. He's uh, 13 and a half, maybe 13 and three quarters. But look at, he's got like that big lump in him, and I can feel something really hard in him. But uh, get him out of here. Um, the quick tip I want to give you guys before I get out of here that really helped me. Um, if you keep up with the kayak bass fishing community, um, there was last year's KBF Angler of the Year. Put this phone up for I lose a darn thing. Um, last year's Angler of the Year, Jay Wallen, 
Um, something came up recently where, I don't know, someone, whatever happened, it, it was determined that he submitted the same fish twice in last year's national championship, I believe. So, uh, they did an investigation and Jay didn't do it on purpose and, um, but a tip he gave and I'll share with you guys that's really helped me this week is, I don't know if you guys saw me, I just took a picture of, uh, my, just my center console with no fish, just my console, my fish finder, and the camera sitting there on the fish finder, um, and that is to help me separate the fish so each fish I catch I'll take three pictures I'll look at them if they're good I'll let the fish go and I'll immediately take a picture of the fish finder so that lets me know whenever I see a picture of my fish finder that's a break and the next fish will be a new fish and that'll really help me out today because I've caught a bunch of 13, 13 and a half, 13, 3 quarter inch fish so uh That'll really help me when submitting these here. So, there's a tip for you guys as I sign off from Kentucky Lake. Unless I catch a bigger, uh, I think my smallest today was nine, nine something. A bunch of small fish today. Three 13s, a 14, and a nine. So, uh, unless I get one bigger than that, and that's all she wrote for Tar Hill Yak Daddy in this year's Kayak Bass Fishing National Championship. Hope to be back next year. Later, guys.